There are 1.9 million housing units in Maricopa County. Single family homes, apartments, mobile homes. Just under 600,000 of them are occupied by renters. Everything looked great, everything seemed great. People like Justin Clark, who moved to Phoenix in 2022. He was attracted to a brand new apartment complex in the downtown Phoenix area because of the location and the amenities. It was a one bedroom, one bath, and I believe it was around 740 square feet. And how much did they charge for that? So it came usually around to 21 to 2200 a month. And that's not cheap. No, especially coming from the Midwest. <laughs> Soon after moving in, Justin says he noticed problems with the plumbing, a shower floor that would not stop leaking. He ended up without a working bathroom. I was without a shower in my apartment and it was completely taped off for approximately seven weeks. This sounds like a nightmare. Understatement. Casey Gettinger has another nightmare story. Um, it was very grand when I first came in. Um, Ritz Carlton grand. In 2022, Casey and her husband moved into one of the newer apartment towers that fill in the new Phoenix skyline. Luxury living at a luxury price, $3,100 per month for a one bedroom apartment. Do you feel like you got the value for what you were paying for? No, I would just think that a building charging this month would have the money to put an AC in my building. She says the air conditioning did not work. How do you not have the staff to make sure that, that I have AC? Both Casey and Justin say they thought by paying a little more in rent, they would get better service. Both say that is not how it worked out. It turns out the same large investment firm owns both of their apartment buildings. Graystar owns more apartments than any other company in the United States. It operates dozens in the Phoenix area, and it's just one of a growing number of institutional investors and private equity firms that have bought up and built rental units in our community. What has followed is a dramatic increase in rent. In 2018, the majority of renters in Maricopa County paid between $500 and $1,500 per month. In 2023, the majority paid between $1,500 and $2,500 per month. We've seen it very clearly where a private equity firm buys a building and then immediately increases the rent. Definitely, that's their business model. Jordan Ash is the housing director for an organization called the Private Equity Stakeholder Project. He studies the effects big investors have on the housing market. They see an opportunity to raise rents or to add on fees or to spend less on maintenance and repairs. Do you think that private equity has an outsized role in increasing rents in an entire community? Absolutely. One company's rents affect another's. Nine of the nation's largest landlords are now operating in the Phoenix area. And you might think that would spark some healthy competition for renters, maybe even reducing rent prices. But according to this lawsuit filed by Arizona's Attorney General Chris Mays, the opposite has happened. This is flat out cheating. May's lawsuit accuses the nine investment firms of using a software company called RealPage to artificially set rent prices higher than the free market would otherwise set them. It spits out a price and all of those landlords are asked to stick to that price. No one is, so, is allowed to go beneath it because that of course would ruin their scheme. They're agreeing behind the scenes to not drop their rents even when they have vacancies. It's the modern day equivalent of a, a smoke filled backroom deal between landlords where they're agreeing to, to charge high prices. And the, we passed antitrust laws in this state and in this country for precisely this reason. In court documents, attorneys for RealPage state May's lawsuit advances an implausible theory and contains demonstrably false allegations. Justin Clark is also suing Graystar. In court paperwork, attorneys for Graystar write, the delays in finishing the repairs to Justin's shower 
were due to Justin filing a complaint for alleged code violations. Casey now lives in a rental home with a local landlord. In your experience, you found that the local landlord who just has a, a couple of rentals is a better landlord? Completely, because they, they actually treat you like a person.